Good day and welcome to 501 Math Leap, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given this square with a side length of 6 cm and it contains a star shape formed by drawing 5 straight lines. With that, we're to determine the area of the star. Pause the video here, see what you come up with. I'm going to solve it in two ways. The first way is using Pick's theorem, invented by George Pick. His formula says that the area A is equal to I plus B over 2 minus 1, where I is the number of internal lattice points, which means it's the number of grid points that intersect wholly inside of the star. B is the number of boundary lattice points, which means that those are the grid lines that intersect right on the outline of the star. So how do I know this works? Well, just trust me, bro. Now, for real, there will be a link to a beautiful proof of this theorem in the comments below. So, we have to determine the value of i. We do that by counting. Count along with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, there are 9 internal lattice points. Good. Next, go ahead and count the number of boundary lattice points. There are 12 of them, therefore B is 12. Substituting into our formula, we have A is equal to 9 plus 12 over 2 minus 1. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 minus 1 is 14. Did you get that answer? If not, Let's see if you did it this way. So, let's try and find the total area of the square and from that, subtract the white areas to get the area of the star. So, the square is side squared. 6 times 6 gives you 36. Now, let's try and find the area of those white sections. Let's start at the top. We have a trapezium and the area of a trapezium is half times a plus b times h. But in particular, the A and the B are the two parallel sides and the H is the perpendicular distance between them. However, we notice that there are two of them. So if we double it, the two and the one half will cancel and we're just left with A plus B times H. What are the length of the two parallel sides here? Well, it's three and two and the height is two. So two plus three is five. Five times two gives you 10. That means the two trapeziums at the top have a total area of 10. Moving our way down to the bottom, next the triangles on the sides. We know that the formula for the area of a triangle is half base times height, but again we notice that because of symmetry there are two of those. So once again the two times a half cancel out, we're left with just base times height. What is the base? The base is 4. What is the height? It's 1.5. So 4 times 1.5 gives you 6. So both of those triangles on the side together add up to give you 6. Next, that big triangle at the bottom. There is only one of them, so it's just half base times height. Where the base is 6 and the height is 2. Half times 2 is 1. 1 times 6 gives us just 6. So, back to our overall idea here. We're going to subtract all those white areas from the total area of 36. So there was a 10. A 6 and a 6 that adds up to 22. 22 subtracted from 36 also gives us that the answer is 14 square centimeters. Did you get it right? If so, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.